Wait, where? I, I, I'm in search of a distinguished alumni and I, oh, there he is, Drew Elliott. Drew Elliott is that distinguished alumni of 2024 that has done so much. Drew, Miss Tai Tai, I adore you. Your, your creativity is like creativity that I have never seen and I'm creative, but you, you take it to a whole nother level. And not only are you interested in the success of yourself, you're interested in raising the bar for everybody else and to change people's lives, to give people opportunities and put them in positions that allow them to sail. This is called Dinner with Drew, which is always fun. I would definitely give Drew the uh, honorary Illuminati Illuminati. <laughs> Cut. One of the first things I remember about Drew at Park Tudor was he, he came here in middle school. Uh, he was very anxious to get started right away in doing stuff, and particularly theater. He had a very keen sense, which you can see in his adult life, of cultural aspects, not just what is popular, but what is long lasting? And one of the first shows that he was in as an upper schooler then, when he moved into upper school, was You Can't Take It With You, in which he played an elephant. When we were doing The Diviners, and he auditioned for that, of course he was the perfect actor for that role. Had a really good sense of humor about keeping things light, a good, good observation about human nature, because he always wanted it to get to the point where people were as serious as he was about stuff. One of the things he did as a, young, as a young person was he went to this very famous um, sort of actress camp. And he was there with the likes of uh, Natalie Portman. They became good friends there and, and several others as well. So he had a very strong base that his parents provided him with. They knew that they had an unusual kid and they knew that he was going to do something. I'd heard then that he became a judge with Tyra Banks on America's Next Top Model. So it was interesting to sort of see his career go in that direction. I mean, what a wonderful career to follow. We met in middle school um, and the rest was history. He was always kind of the brother that I know, my, a brother from another mother. Drew and I, since we were in seventh, we've, we call each other Howard. But we've been doing it for like three decades, so it's just not going to go away. <laughs> if he was going for some goal, it wasn't like a, you know, oh, I think I want to do this. It would be like, yeah, I'm going to do this. And he would always achieve his goal. And once he was at NYU, he began interning at a, a place called Paper Magazine. And, but he started off as an intern, and I think right away, he just always had that energy and drive to do things. So I think he was doing that. He was also, I mean, on any, any given weekend, I feel like he'd be DJing or hosting some party at, you know, in New York. Um, but he got to meet people, I think, along the way, like with paper. One of the things that really brought him some acclaim was the Kim Kardashian break the internet thing. So I first met Drew on the club scene, you know, and he was kind of a big part of that. And then, when he went to paper, I watched that whole thing unfold, you know, all the things he did there, so creative, so colourful, so exciting. And then, of course, Mac. Who doesn't love a bit of Mac? <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> but, you know, it kind of didn't surprise me. I've always felt like that was what Drew was going to do. He was always going to sort of take over the world. <laughs> and if we meet up in New York, it's like we could be in Uptown, in Midtown, in Soho, you could be anywhere in that city and pretty much at least twice as we're like walking down the street, he'll see someone that he knows. He makes people feel at ease. He makes people feel comfortable. I mean, it's a, you know, it's kind of a cutthroat industry, but you can tell everyone appreciates working with him, appreciates what he brings to the table. Um, and I think that's pretty cool. I think Drew likes to be in the middle of it all like me. I like to be in the middle of pop culture. I like to observe and criticize and change things. I like his directness. He's visual, he's funny, he's opinionated. Um, he's got a dark sense of humor, which I like, <laughs> almost British. He's always had that natural liberal arts brain, which is capable of 
seeing things through a very unique lens. He would just work towards something and it would like lead him to the next thing. It was kind of just like this continuous sort of almost like a chameleon in some ways. There's some there's another opportunity that might be out there that's better and he's never he's never been afraid to strive towards that. He's not afraid to be different if that's just who he is. And I've always appreciated that about him. That's part of what I love about him most. I think having people like that in the world that are more creative, that think outside the box, that can be examples to students here. There's no cookie cutter, cutter model for what's being the best at what. It's like being be the best at yourself. Drew, I am so proud of you. I'm so proud of the work you did at Park Tudor for our introduction together in middle school, for the work you've done after, the, the tra trajectory that you've gone on, and all the things that you've done. It just makes me so proud as a teacher that you have done so many wonderful things, and I look forward to seeing whatever the next things are that you do. Congratulations, Howard, on being a distinguished alumni of Park Tudor. Um, I can promise you that there will be frozen yogurt with Lucky Charms to celebrate at the at the lunch at Park Tudor. <laughs> Includes commons, so I'll see you there. <laughs> I'm proud of you. You deserve this so much. And it's so great to be able to come back to where we're from. No matter how slang and banging, no matter how amazing and how big we have risen, we are giving homage to the people that got us there. And they're giving homage to the man that they had a lot to do with creating his amazingness. So Miss Tai Tai is saying, congratulations, Mr. Distinguished Alumni 2024. You got this. Keep it next level fierce. 2024 Distinguished Alumni Award should go to Drew because he's done you proud. He's really done you proud. And I think we'll continue to do so. Vote Drew for president.